All right, time to take a look at the promote itself. There is going to be background noise because I am in the field, and I'm going to show you how this is done. Power, first thing you do, obviously, powers up fairly quickly. Now, pressing it again just one time will bring up the LCD, and it will stay on as long as you have the default settings. Default's for 10 seconds. I think I only have it for 5. And I'll show you how to change that in the setup menu in a moment. And it's there, obviously, to, to come off pretty quickly to save battery life. But if you're in a situation where your remote's in a little darker area, it's going to be much easier to work with this by setting that and changing that. So before I go through the modes and the various different features, let me press the left and the right buttons at the same time and we'll bring up a setup menu. The first one saying screen contrast, I think it starts at 10, I changed mine to 15. Now I'm going to go, you can use the left and the right to go through these 17 different settings. So I'm going to press the right arrow and that's going to go to the next one which is number 2. Um, just to show you that there is this setting for a separate, and I'll come back, come back to that, for a shutter release. Now what I'm going to is I'm just looking for, I think it's number 7, here it is, backlight timeout, 5 seconds. I'm just going to press the up arrow to extend this time just so that it doesn't go off as I'm showing you the features. I'm going to select infinite, press the center button, and it sets it. So now it won't go off as I show you the different features. So the power button I just showed you, if you want to power down, you press it and you hold it down. Press it again, and it comes right back up. Now there's a mode button. Right now we're in high dynamic range mode. Pressing it again takes you to manual shutter hold. Again, one shot. Again, time lapse. I'm not going to cover any of those particular modes. One more time, brings us back to high dynamic range. I basically never touch the mode button because this is what I'm interested in. Now, with this settings, these settings can be changed. The focus button I'm not going to talk about too much, but one thing that you can do when you're not in the high dynamic range feature is because if you have this extra shutter release that you've purchased that's attached to the camera, then you can use this focus button to actually autofocus the camera be before you take a shot. The start button takes the shot. So whatever settings you have on the LCD, when you press the start button, it will initiate whatever sequence that you have. Now you change the numbers that are on the screen with the buttons left and right, move this selected and it will blank. Let me just do this. Let me press the right button once. You'll see that it selects it. If I press right again, it goes down to the next one. So right takes you down the screen, and it just keeps cycling through. So as I press right, it just keeps going down, and you press left, and it just keeps cycling up. It's very easy. And when you want to change something, you use the up or the down. So if I want to take the shutter, the total exposure is from 5 up, I just press this, 1, 2, let's just choose 9. Now it's still selected. You can do one of two things. You can just press the center button to set that feature, or if you had more changes to make, you can just press one of the left or the right, reselects the last thing that was selected, and then in this case I want to go up, so I'll press the left button to go up to the steps, and I'm just going to raise the EV up by pressing the up button. I'm going to take it to one EV, and then like I said, I'm just going to press the center button, and that sets that, and there's no, nothing blinking. And I could press start now, and it would fire off the camera with the mid-exposure range uh, as one 40th, and then obviously it's going to do the calculations and go down and do all the steps for you. So in this case, I have one EV steps in between each shot and nine total exposures. Now I have a D3, so what I, I chose this actually on purpose to show you that this is typically the most you can do with a D3. So if you have an extremely wide dynamic range for whatever reason, because of the setup, maybe you're shooting an interior, dark inside, and extremely bright outside and you want to get a little bit further. Well, you can't do that with the D3 without touching the camera. So in this case, I'm going to select the EVs. Now, I personally don't normally go up to a 2 EV step, but I just want to show you that it can be done. So I'm going to go to 2 EVs, but I know it's not going to take 9 shots, but I can take it down to 7 and then press the middle button and set that. So now what I have here is I have 2 steps in between each shot, and I have seven total shots, and I just press start, and it initiates the sequence with the camera. And before I do that, listen to the speed of the shutter, because as of right now, this shutter release cable, even though it's plugged in, is not being recognized, because in the setup menu, I have not activated it yet. So I'm going to press start. It initiates the sequence. If you want to, you can press power very quickly one time, it'll bring up the screen. And if you do that, you'll notice it for a split second, you show there's the exposure. So if you want to, you can actually see what the exposures are as it goes through. When it's done, it'll beep. That's it. 
Now, I want to go back to the setup menu. I'm going to press both these buttons at the same time, bring up the setup menu. Okay. For some reason, I wasn't pressing them at the same time. So here I am. That's the last setting I changed, so it holds that. I'm going to press the left button just to get back to number two, which is this use a separate cable for shutter release. Currently selected as no. I'm just going to move it up one so it says yes, or I could have gone down and press the middle button to set that. So now I know that it's going to recognize the shutter release cable. So I'm going to leave all the settings the same and just press start and you will hear it will fire off much faster than it did before. Now just listen to this and then I'll come back and I'll explain something else. Now there's some other things that you cannot do with the other cameras that are out there all by themselves and why this remote is so awesome. You could do things such as, let's say you wanted some extremely tight steps in between because you have this like, you know, let's say a window and there's a lot of bleed coming across the, the window itself and some, uh, a little bit of flare. So you might want to take the EV steps down to a third and then bring the exposures up. Now I'm not going to fire the camera off and blow 19 shots, but you could do that. And as another example, you could, for example, take this up. Now, I personally wouldn't do this myself, but if you're looking for some surreal, sometimes taking large jumps in between EVs actually creates that oversaturation, and there's a reason for that, and I'm not going to get into it here. But let me just show you that you could set this for three EVs, and I think this will take five shots, if I'm not mistaken. So you could take five shots with three EVs in between each step, and let's see if that takes that. So that's a pretty wide range right there. So I just want to show you that that's capable. And obviously, if you want to select um, all sorts of in-between, like for example, with a D3, like I said before, it's, it's stuck at this um, 9. If you want to, you could say, okay, instead of just the, the standard 1 that I get with the D3, it'd be nice if I just had that little extra 1 and a third of a stop of EV in-between and then hit start. So in that case, it's not a huge jump past what you can do with the D3, but every now and then you only need that little, little extra bit outside of it. So instead of a step of one, you can go with one and a third. And obviously, if you're a Canon user and you're watching this video, you must be thinking, oh my god. Okay, we got 29 shots here at one third of an EV in between.